Petticoat Junction was a beloved TV series that captivated audiences during its run from 1963 to 70. Set in the charming fictional town of Hooterville, the show followed the lives and misadventures of the Bradley family and their inn, the Shady Rest Hotel. In this video, we'll delve into the lives and careers of the talented cast members, both in their days on the show and subsequent endeavors. Join Facts First as we present Petticoat Junction cast then and now. B. Benedorette Born April 4, 1906, in New York City, B. Benedorette played Kate Bradley. Her time on the show, from 1963 to 70, played a significant role in solidifying her status as a household name. Kate was a warm-hearted and level-headed character, the widowed mother who manages the Shady Rest Hotel in Hooterville. Her character became the anchor of the show, exuding both wisdom and humor while dealing with the comical situations that arose in the close-knit community. Her portrayal of Kate earned her widespread acclaim claim and endeared her to audiences. B's exceptional comedic timing and ability to bring charm and authenticity to her characters contributed to the show's success. She became a beloved and recognizable face on television screens across the country, and her presence played a vital role in shaping the dynamic and tone of Petticoat Junction. Following the conclusion of the show, B continued to make notable contributions. She lent her voice to numerous animated characters, most notably as the voice of Betty Rubble in the popular cartoon series Series, the Flintstones from 1960 to 64. She appeared in various television shows as a guest star, such as series like The Beverly Hillbillies, Green Acres, and The George Burns and Gracie Allen Show. Her performances demonstrated her ability to seamlessly transition between comedy and drama, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. Tragically, B's prolific career was cut short due to illness. She was diagnosed with lung cancer in the late 60s and valiantly fought against the disease. Sadly, she passed away October 13, 1968, at age 62. Incredibly, her husband Eugene passed away four days later. The two were entombed next to each other at a cemetery in North Hollywood. Edgar Buchanan Edgar Buchanan, born March 20, 1903, in Humansville, Missouri, was a reliable character actor with a remarkable ability to bring warmth and humor to his roles. While he had an extensive filmography, Buchanan is best remembered for his role as Uncle Joe Carson. He joined the cast of Petticoat Junction in 1963 and quickly became a fan favorite with his portrayal of the lovable and mischievous Uncle Joe. As the shiftless yet endearing uncle to the Bradley sisters, Buchanan's character was known for his lazy charm, wit, and perpetual scheming. Buchanan's ability to deliver humorous one-liners and his knack for physical comedy made Uncle Joe a beloved character. After the show concluded, Buchanan continued his prolific career in film and television. He made guest appearances on various shows like Green Acres, The Beverly Hillbillies, and The Love Boat. He had a notable film career, too, appearing in movies like Penny Serenade, Shane, and Ride the High Country. Edgar Buchanan's contribution earned him accolades and a dedicated fan following. He received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in recognition of his accomplishments, but sadly his remarkable career came to an end when he passed away April 4, 1979 at age 76. The cause of death was reported as a stroke which was made worse by pneumonia. Linda K. Henning Linda K. Henning was born September 16, 1944 in L.A. She portrayed the sweet and spirited Betty Jo Bradley and added a youthful and relatable element to the show. Henning's natural charm and talent endeared her to audiences as she brought Betty Jo to life with a perfect blend of innocence and ambition. She demonstrated her musical abilities by performing songs on the show, displaying a versatile range of talents. After Petticoat Junction ended, Linda K. Henning continued to pursue her acting career. She appeared in various TV shows, including guest roles in series like Green Acres, Gunsmoke, and The Beverly Hillbillies. Her versatility allowed her to tackle a range of roles, showcasing her talent talent and adaptability as an actress. Beyond that, she explored other creative pursuits as well. She became involved in writing and producing, and she co-authored the book The Actor's Guide to Murder, which offered insights into the acting industry. Henning also wrote and produced the musical comedy A Beaver Tale, which drew inspiration from her experiences growing up as the daughter of Leave It to Beaver creator Paul Henning. Sadly, not much is known about her life since the show ended. Frank Cady 
Frank Cady played the amiable storekeeper Sam Drucker. Born September 8, 1915 in Susanville, California, Cady had a prolific career. His character served as the local shopkeeper, postmaster, and a reliable source of wisdom in Hooterville. His chemistry with the rest of the cast, particularly Edgar Buchanan's Uncle Joe, added to the comedic dynamic. He had a knack for delivering deadpan humor and portraying a range of quirky and lovable characters. After Petticoat Junction ended, Frank Cady continued his Acting career. His most notable later role came in the form of another beloved character, that of Mr. Drucker, on the spin-off series Green Acres. His reprisal of the role solidified his status as a talented and versatile actor. Katie's portrayal of Mr. Drucker on Green Acres added depth and continuity to his character, further cementing his place in TV history. In later years, Katie largely retired from acting and enjoyed a quieter life away from the spotlight. He passed away June 8, 2012, at age 96 of natural causes. Janine Riley. Janine Riley is best known for her portrayal of Billy Joe Bradley. Born October 1, 1940 in L.A., her portrayal of the musically talented Bradley's sister quickly endeared her to audiences. Riley's vibrant personality, coupled with her comedic timing, made Billy Joe a fan favorite. Her character's romantic escapades and pursuit of a music career added depth to the show's storyline, creating an endearing and relatable character. During her time on the show, her talent as an actress and singer shined through her performances. She showcased her musical abilities by singing and playing the guitar on the show, further enhancing the character of Billy Joe. Riley's infectious energy and undeniable charm contributed to the success of the series. After Petticoat Junction ended in 1970, Riley continued acting, appearing in various shows and films. She made guest appearances on shows like Green Acres and Love American Style, and also ventured into film, starring in movies like Five Bloody Graves and The Painted House. In later years, information regarding Janine Riley's activities became relatively scarce. It appears she stepped away from the spotlight, opting for a quieter life. Though in 2020, she did release a book called The Bolder Woman, It's About Time. According to Riley, the book is meant to be a means to help women follow through on their dreams despite aging. Mike Minor Mike Minor joined the cast in 1966, bringing charm and charisma to the character of Steve Elliott. As the love interest of Betty Jo Bradley, his portrayal captured the hearts of viewers. His on-screen chemistry with Henning added depth to their romantic storyline, creating a beloved couple. He demonstrated his musical skills by performing songs on the show, and his smooth vocals and stage presence resonated with audiences. After the show, he continued to pursue his passions in both acting and music. He appeared in various shows, including The Brady Bunch, and Mission Impossible. Minor also made notable guest appearances on popular game shows like The Dating Game and The Newlywed Game. He also released several albums and singles throughout the 70s, and his music incorporated elements of country and pop. They received positive reception from fans and critics alike. Interestingly enough, he got married to Linda K. Henning the year after their two characters got married on the show. Sadly, the marriage only lasted five years. He later remarried in 1981, wedding Marilyn Minor. Minor passed away January 28, 2016, of cancer. He was 75. Now it's time to hear from you. Who is your favorite character on Petticoat Junction? Let us know in the comments section below.